All right, so I'm going to be recording my final kind of piece here for now on the um, ViewSonic whiteboard and the ViewSonic software. This piece is looking at all the stuff I kept saying, we're going to look at that later, the networking piece, and how it might help you, okay? It is going to be a little weird because I've got to go back and forth between a couple screens, so I'm going to apologize about that right off the beginning. Um, hopefully that won't get too confusing as I'm going. So the networking piece. Um, inside the magic box, there are a couple things that appear, and I said I'd talk about them later. These three right here. One is the airplane. This is throat. One is the uh, letter, like, pop-out thing. It's for the pop quiz. And the other one is the thing here looks like polls, okay? Um, when you are logged into a session and you're logged into your view board. Okay, you will notice that I am logged into my view board. How do we know that? The top of the view board has your information right up here, display session information. It means you're logged in, I've signed in. Remember I've talked about the companion app that you can use that to sign in, okay? That you can sign in from your phone. I've talked about the fact that you can just log in with your Gmail or you can just log in with your email and password. But once you're logged in, if I click here, it's gonna open up this little thing right here that tells me that someone can sign in with this link or with this QR code to access my view board. Okay, this is my link to access my view board. This is the QR code to access my, my whiteboard and someone can access in. As a student, they can use that particular link and this is what they will see right here. They come in, it says, welcome to Zon's whiteboard portal. And I'm going to put in my student's name, Holden Caulfield, and confirm because they're signing in. And it says, hi, is it not you? It'll make you re-sign in. And then it's got some options for the student right here. Okay. <clears throat> um, these options are screen sharing, pop quiz, poll, or to throw a file right down here. So it looks similar to what you have. Okay, similar options. If you remember as well, if you use the companion app, which I'm logged in as my phone, I'll hold that up here. That screen also has pretty much the same options, okay? The pop quiz, the poll, the throw, all the same options right there. The QR code, all that kind of stuff is still there for you, okay? So it all looks similar. So when I have this piece here, kids can log in. Now, what does that do for me on this end? Nothing, I don't see who's logged in. It tells me nothing yet, okay? It doesn't give a list of this kid's logged in, this kid's not logged in. It just brings up a thing on their side that says, hey, you can do these things. On my side, though, remember I have these three options. I'm going to talk about pop quiz first because this is my favorite piece, and I think it's going to be the most beneficial piece for you. Um, I can click this pop quiz, and you'll notice it opens up like another whiteboard. So I've got a pen, an eraser. Um, right here, show or hide the question and show or hide all answers, okay? I'm gonna ask a question right here, and I'm gonna just do a quick little easy math question. We'll do 2x plus four equals 14. Okay, it's in the afternoon, I don't think as well, so that's an easy math question. So I've opened up a pop quiz. On Holden's side right here, I can click pop quiz. He gets a little pop-up. It's his own little whiteboard right here that he can work with. Okay, he has his own little whiteboard that he can respond to my question, which was 3x plus or 2x. I made it really easy. 2x plus 4 equals 14. Okay, I'll subtract the 4, subtract the 4, 2x equals 10, divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get x equals 5. So he solved it. He's done his work. Um, and then he can hit the send button right here. Big blue send button. It says your answer has been sent. And you can close that up. So he sent that. Now realize I can have them do anything. It doesn't have to be a math problem. I could have them um, answer a question, draw a picture, whatever I want. 
So here's my question, and I can see the response has come in. I have that hidden. I can click right here to show answers. Okay, and now I can see his work. Hide answers, show answers. Okay, I can also right click on it when it's open and make it real big so I can look at it nice big and say, hey, Great job. If they were doing something wrong, I can point out, you know, you did really well up here. You messed up on your reducing or whatever it is. You're simplifying all that stuff. And I can show them what it is I'm talking about. Okay. So this opens up an individual screen that I can look at. That's that pop quiz piece right here. Each student gets pop quiz. Your answers stay in here. Your question will stay in here until you erase it. So if I want to erase that question, I can say erase it. I can give another question. You'll notice the answer still stays here. I can have multiple answers that come in from the same student on the same page. And I'll show you why that's important in a second. If I want a new one, I click right here, create a new session that says, do you want to save it? I can say no or yes and save it. I'm going to cancel that for a second. Okay. Remember, I said I can have multiple things. So I might be running a session. I can say, you know what? Each of you draw me a thing real quick. Tell me how about how you're feeling about the math lesson. He's going to come in and say, oh, another pop quiz. I open up another thing. How am I feeling? Um, I'm going to do a little picture. I'm feeling, and here's the thing. I'm feeling happy, and I'm going to send that. Okay, so I did another one. I sent it in. You'll notice now I have another response. I can see, oh, he's happy about today's math lesson. That's perfect. Now, why is this important? Because I can actually save all of this. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to save it to my drive. I'm going to do a new folder inside my drive. It should pop up here with a new folder in a second. Apparently doesn't want to give me a new folder. So I'll just go into my test folder and make a new folder in here. We're going to call this whiteboard. So I've got this folder right here that I've selected. And I'm going to say that's the folder that I want to put it in. Okay, you'll see that it's uploading stuff to my folder. Now I'm going to actually show you what happens inside Google Drive because this is really cool. I'm going to go to my drive. And I put that in uh, my test folder, I think, inside Whiteboard. It created a day time folder. Inside that, each student has a folder. If I had saved my question, it would also be here. But inside here, each student has a folder with all of the work that they have submitted in. Okay, so I can see each thing. I can see their work, what they've done. I can see happy face. Everything's there. Everything's saved um, so that I can have that to look at later. So multiple questions could be there. All my work is there and everything's saved. Okay. Um, when you're done, of course, you can say, okay, now I want a... Uh, no, I don't want to save a new session. And I have a new session right there uh, for us to work on. You'll also notice I was able, and I clicked this accidentally, but uh, to open back up the QR code. So if I'm doing work and a kid goes, oh, I need to know how to log in, I can open that back here without opening up the display again. Okay. Um, so all of this is right here. I love that pop quiz feature. Now, you'll also notice there were two other things. One was the um, polls. Create as many questions as I want. Multiple choice, true, false, rating questions, free format, voting, random draw. I can just type in the question, type in my answers, enter instructions. You can choose how long they have to work on that question. I can add many, as many options as I want. I can make it worth, you know, more than one right answer in there. Everything happens. Let's do a new question. Sorry, I already pushed that one out. So 3x 
plus 3 equals uh, 12. Option 1, x equals 4. Option 2, x equals 3. Option 3, x equals 1. And option 4, I can't find x. I am lost. And x has not marked the spot. So I've got this question. I'm going to say done. Okay, now you'll see it's not checked, so it's not pushed out, so I can use this one. Um, you'll notice I left one minute. I hit play, and this question is now live. So here now, he's got this question that he can come and say, oh, x equals 3. And I can select that too if I wanted to because that's my personality. And I can submit that in. Okay. On my end now, it's going to wait. I can stop it at any time. I hope the kids say, oh, we're done. I can stop it. It tells me that question's done, one and finished. I can click here to see the results. It does a little graph of results, who chose what, all that stuff. And I can see who it is. I can see who's answered. Okay, it doesn't show me their particular answer. It does it in this graph. But I can download it to a CSV file, so a spreadsheet file. I can pull it down and see all of that right there. If you have more than one question ready to go, you can automatically start the next question. It'll move through so you can have several questions here and get all of your results, okay? So this is doing a quick poll, okay? Again, you can have different types of questions, put them over here and push them out to the kids, okay? All right, so that's poll piece. Uh, the last piece is the throw files option. This is the airplane, and we're going to show you two different cool features with this. So basically, this enables the student to throw something to you. Okay, so kids done work, they take a picture of it, they want to send it in to you. They can click, click, quickly hit this upload button. We're going to send in uh, this black ninja belt. Say open. You can see it's sending it. And uh, maybe Holden's got some good news. How do I know that came? I can click my magic box the throw you can see the things that have been thrown to me okay so these are the things that i have i've sent myself here and here i've got i can drag it out as an object so now i can actually share this and say oh look holden got his black belt thanks for sharing that picture that's awesome and everybody can see it because i'm sharing this whiteboard out okay again that showed up right up here the little airplane, it was thrown out. I can drag it there to my screen. It becomes an object. It also shows up up here in notifications. Every time someone does something, whether they click on a poll, whether they click on a pop quiz, or whether they throw something, it shows up up here. So you can see I have three notifications. This was when they did the um, sketch. This was when they did the pop or the poll. And this was the um, share. And I can see what it was they sent. So I get the notifications up here that I can X and clear. Or I can get to them from the throw window and get a quick little thing, making sure it's all good. I can drag it out as an object and share it with a class. So that's something a student can throw to you. Now, the really cool feature is this can also replace your document camera. And what I mean by that is you're working in your class and you've got the worksheet that you want the kids to see. Okay. So I'm going to use my companion app on my phone right here. Got my phone, nifty phone. I'm going to click throw on my phone. It opens up this little thing on the bottom, which is probably hard to see. But it says camera or browse, so I can find a file that's on my phone, or I can just click camera. And now I have the ability to take a photo of something, and I'm going to take a photo of something that's on my desk here real quick. And I just take a photo. I say, okay, we should notice in a second i'm throwing it to my own board it says it's throwing and then it says it's sent and i got my little notification up here i got one notification that i sent something i threw something here which means of course if i go to the magic box i come to the throw this is what i sent i come over here and i now have 
this little worksheet that I can share that if you're ordering a Costco microwave, you got to go measure, make sure it all fits, make sure everything's good. And I can share that worksheet and we can talk about um, measuring and stuff like that in a real life situation. Okay. So here is a great way for you to bring up something that you've got on your desk from a book and share it with the kids. You can snap a picture, send it straight from your phone and have it come right up here on your view board, whether this be in the classroom or virtually or however you're using this program. So those are the three different pieces that we're going to talk about or that I said I'd talk about. The throw okay, allows the kids to send stuff to you, allows um, you to send stuff to yourself. And again, I can erase it and then uh, see it in different formats. Uh, the pop quiz where you can ask questions to quiz, two kids they can respond inside that little pop quiz thing and you can see their work and the poll um, where you can come and do a quick polling of students and ask questions and get a uh, quick graph or actually export it to a spreadsheet and have all the results. So within the whiteboard, you now have that option in the whiteboard software. Remember that this is in your class. It would be on your ViewSonic board. The kids could do this with their Chromebook. If they're at home and you're doing this virtually and using whiteboard software, you can do that as well. And like I said, your companion app will give you access to take a photo, throw anything you want up on that view board. So any book you're reading, snap a picture, put it up there. You can look through for information in the text, talk about it. It's a great way to make that happen in your classroom, um, whether virtually or live. So we hope this helps you out and gets you using that view board um, more.